Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to look at Clonezilla. Clonezilla is a clone of the Norton Ghost imaging uh, off, up, uh, software. And it is a very uh, good product. It's very fast, it's open source, and it's free. I'm going to give you a demonstration of how to create an operating system image. We're going to create an image of Windows XP, and then we'll restore this image. Uh, Clonezilla create image. Uh, we're going to use the Clonezilla live CD. Uh, we're going to download this uh, from the Clonezilla download page and we're going to be using the i486 uh, live CD. Uh, you can see it's on this page here and it's the Clonezilla uh, this is the 1.2823. You can use the latest, but it's going to be the i46 to work with the Intel PC, the 32-bit. Um, then we're going to save the image on a second hard drive partition or USB external drive. I like to use the uh, hard drive of the existing computer. That way I've got uh, everything in a convenient place. Then all I need to use is a live CD to do the restore. Also, it restores pretty quickly on the uh, home computer's uh, hard drive partition. And again, the reason I like to create a second partition on the hard drive, it creates a second place uh, that I can use to store files, uh, pictures, videos, anything that I create uh, that's going to be very difficult to replace. I like to get things outside of the operating system because the operating system is the target for the viruses. And it's very likely, once you get infected, that you could lose your data if it, you keep it inside the Windows operating system. So again, I like to create two partitions, one for the operating system, one for my backups, and for my data and files that I don't want to lose. So to create a uh, partition, I like to use another free open source product called Gparted. Uh, Gparted is a clone of the uh, Semantics uh, PC Magic. And it works, it works very well. Or PQ Magic, it's a partitioning, uh, software. Uh, here's a screenshot of, uh, Gparted. And again, we like to use the resize or move partition, uh, feature. This allows you to take your existing Windows partition and, uh, resize it to make it a little bit smaller so that we have some free unallocated space that we can use for creating a second partition. Uh, th these are nice little uh, external USB uh, drives. You can get these at Costco or just about any place for less than $100, and they create a great uh, backup uh, drive. Go ahead and start the Clonezilla. Clonezilla is loading. English. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll select that. That's a uh, default. And again, it says don't touch key map, which is the default. So we'll just select that. Uh, device image, uh, work with disk or partitions. That's a default, so we're going to select it. Uh, local device, uh, use local device, select that, that's another default. Now we got a little question down here, press uh, enter to continue, go ahead and press enter. Uh, SD1. Now, SD, SDA1 is your serial hard drive, and the number one is the first partition. First partition is normally uh, where Windows re will reside. And this question is asking you, now we need to mount a device as a home partition. Now, you don't want to select the partition or the device that you're going to be saving into an image. So here we've got a second partition that we're going to select, and that's where we're going to be storing our image. Now, as we select that, 
It's going to go ahead and look at it and read it, and it finds that there is a folder on here called Clonezilla. Now, I put a folder on there just to keep a convenient place for my images. I would suggest you do the same. So now it's going to go ahead and mount uh, Clonezilla. And the next is uh, Beginner Mode. So we'll select that. That's another default. Now here we have Save Disks or Save Parts. Now since I'm not saving the entire disk, but I'm only saving that partition where the Windows resides, I'm going to go ahead and select Save Parts. And my image is going to be uh, the today's date, uh, number 13, IMG for image. So I'll go ahead and that's fine. Click OK on that. And we should get started here. Let's see. Uh, choose a source partition. Okay, my source partition is going to be SDA1. I'll, move this, I'll go ahead and click on that. Uh, after the image is saved, you want to check it. I'm not going to check it. I'm going to go ahead and say no. Don't need to check. And press enter to continue. And it goes ahead and starts. Part clone. And it's reading the super block and calculating a bitmap. And this will only take a few seconds. Once it finishes calculating the bitmap, it will start or complete uh, the rest of the imaging process. Imaging on this operating system, since it's actually in a virtual environment, will go fairly quickly and only take a few minutes. And then once we get our image uh, saved onto our second partition, we'll go ahead and do a restore, which again is even faster. Now, the remaining time here is only about four minutes. So we'll go ahead and take a little break here and come back after it completes. Uh, we'll reboot the computer and see if we get this to uh, run again. So the restore goes pretty quickly, uh, the, probably uh, almost twice as fast sometimes as uh, creating the image. Uh, and as soon as this thing finishes, we'll reboot uh, to make sure Windows still works. That uh, Windows is starting up normally, and uh, everything has gone fine. So that's uh, just a demo of Clone <coughs> Clonezilla. Very, very nice program. Free program, open source. Uh, it's a program that uh, if you uh, don't want to take the the expense of uh, Norton Ghost or some of the other imaging programs, this uh, is a great option, great choice. It is free and very fast and extremely reliable. Now in the next uh, segment, we're going to show you how to create a restore CD or restore DVD that you can use to uh, go ahead and restore your computer. I would suggest that you uh, Go ahead and see the next segment because uh, having a restore CD or DVD uh, can really save you a lot of heartache, a lot of time to get your computer back up and running uh, properly uh, with just in a, within a few minutes. And creating that restore CD uh, is pretty much completely automatic. I think it asks you one or maybe two questions as to you know what image do you want to restore from or use, and and you know what you want to do, and it and it does it all by itself. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.